In this video, we will be discussing an overview of lighting. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file 1601 Overview of Lighting.dwg, located in the training folder as discussed in the Working with this dataset video. Lighting is used to set a specific mood in a scene or draw attention to a specific area or detail. If you want to represent a scene during the day, it will most likely be warm and bright. At night, a scene might be darker, but through light, you can still make it warm and inviting. Lighting in a scene must be done with the right balance of lights and shadows. Achieving such a balance in a software program can be challenging, and when you use the light in a real-world situation, you often do not think about how much light it will give off. Materials as well in a scene play a key role in how lights affect the scene's final outcome. Materials and their properties can affect how light reflects from them or is absorbed. The different types of lights in AutoCAD are, first, the sun, which can be defined here in the Render tab, Sun and Location panel, the other types of lights are point lights, spotlights, distant lights, and web lights. A point light emits lights in all directions from its specified location. The closer to the location of a point light an object is, the more intense the light it receives. Point lights are good for emulating sources of light such as light bulbs, lanterns, and candles. A point light is represented in a scene by a spherical glyph. If we zoom in to our model here, you'll notice that we have some point lights right there. A spotlight emits light from a source location to a target based on the shape of a cone. The closer an object is to the source, the more intense the light it receives. You can control the size of the outer cone that helps to define when the light starts to fall off, and an inner cone that determines the hot spot of the light. The spotlight shines only in the direction that is determined by the source and target points. You'll notice in our rendered view here, we have a spotlight right there, and it actually has a specific color shading associated to it, which is magenta, which is showing or outlining a specific area of our kitchen. A distant light is a light that emits light uniformly in a single direction based on a from and a to vector. Unlike the other types of lights, an object does not receive any additional light by moving closer to a distant light source, nor does a distant light dim the further away an object is from its source. Distant lights are good for filling a scene with an even amount of light. As you can see in our drawing here, we actually have a distant light. Let's go to the Lights in Model Palette by simply clicking on the Panel Dialog Box Launcher. And here is our distant light. This distant light defined a vector which went from the upper right part of the space here down into the kitchen. The last type of light is a web light. You may use this light type the least. It is a true 3D representation of the light intensity of a light source. Web lights can be used to represent non-uniform lights derived from data provided by a manufacturer's real-world lights properties. This gives a far more precise representation of the rendered light than either spot or point lights are capable of doing. As you've seen just now, all lights can be created from the Render tab, Lights panel, and then we have the Create Light dropdown. You can also control the shadows in your drawing that the lights will provide, as well as some additional default lighting settings defined in here. To see the available lights in your drawing, you click on the Panel Dialog Box Launcher right here, and this will show you all the lights within your file. Note, AutoCAD will allow you to select the actual light by selecting it in here, and you can then actually go to the properties by right-clicking on it and changing any of the intensities or settings that that light provides to the drawing. With lighting, as you can see, you can make real-world designs look even better. This concludes this video discussing an overview of lighting. 